Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Holy Roman Emperor. Um, let's put some money into improving our subjects. Why not, right? It also increases trade value. Um, we're good on that. Let's go with... Hmm... Hmm. I suppose so. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Where are we at here? So I can release Genoa now. Right? Uh, yes. Okay. So let's see here. Genoa will receive these two. So he will be a subject. Very good. Do we want to do it? No, I don't. I don't want to do it, especially after putting all this effort into making my vassals. Um, and that'll actually lower his autonomy to like zero as well. As well as, so that's actually super good. Um, yeah, 0% autonomy. <clears throat> so that's really good. Um, mission fulfilled for what? Acquire subjects, grand fleet, dominate trade. No. I'm okay with this. Um, disputed succession, Mercurius still? I wish that there was a way that I could make it so this doesn't show up anymore, because I'm never going to be interested in royal marrying anybody else. Alright, that's fine. Truces will expire with Milan. Nobody interesting. So, Ottomans is 32. 31 and you are 20 31 okay so i'm thinking i'm probably gonna have to where's prussia at so what's your income looking like i'm probably gonna actually subsidize him a little bit just so um he can build up a nice army because honestly he's gonna he's gonna be really helpful prussia will so we want to make sure that we can keep him strong. Um, also, I need to get to war with Sweden sometime soon because, I don't know. I don't think our relationship is long for this world. Spain, I'll keep you for now. But he's got a claim on Corsica. So... And I can also release, release Sardinia. Actually, I might as well just take some land over here and release, you know, Catalonia. Valencia's already gone, but yeah, it's just Catalonia. Always Catalonia. <laughs> All right, so let's take that core there. And we might actually give one of these this province to one of our subjects down here. Don't care about the that stuff. Um, so let's just get you guys over here. Hmm. I guess we're just waiting. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. Why do we not have military access? One of my subjects needs to get it. Come on, man. Hmm. Definitely gonna need it eventually. Are you allied to him or something? No, you're not. Interesting. What about Burgundy? No claims on you. Hmm. What's going on with Castile? They literally will not join anybody in their wars. Just the debt? Really? I mean, that's not even a crazy amount of debt either. I mean, I would say it's a decent amount, but it's not crazy. I think I'll take Ancona for myself. And that'll allow me to get some claims on Naples. Mercenary costs would be pretty good. I think we're just going to start powering through this idea group. Okay. 
Looks like my men are finally over in his lands, and they're just gonna carpet siege down everything. Hopefully they don't stand too many. You know, I'm curious as to what the actual best focus is for them. Like, maybe if I put it on no focus, they'll just do whatever they want. Or if I put it on aggressive. Prussia's up to 19k, which is pretty good. Yep, let's upgrade that. Free money. Alright. So we're going to take Return Core to Genoa. We are going to give this to Ferrara. Where's Ferrara? Probably at the bottom? No. Uh, is it alphabetical? Nope. What in the world? How do they come up with the... I wish there was an easier way to do this. Ferrara, Ferrara, Ferrara. Where is Ferrara? There you go. There's Ferrara. So we're taking all of this. Oh, that's a lot. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Jeez, OP. Okay, just, I take it back. We're going to take that. And we're going to take all of this. And we'll probably make Catalonia into a march as well. Oh, I'm not going to be able to core that. Hmm. Interesting. So I think what I'll have to do is I'll actually just take like this Roussillon or whatever. And then I'll core this and then I'll snake my way over and eventually. So like I'll have to get to Provence before I can make it into Empire Empirical Lands. So I'll have to wait on that. So we're waiting on 31 to declare on Venice. Get our Reconquest War for Milan. Uh, I'll just pay the money. I do not care about money at all. I'm going to also get a couple of claims on you. I'll make it cheaper to buy. Take your land in wars. Very good. And we will take you back. Wait, who else are we at war with over here? Oh, he just has, he still has this province. He's had that province there for so long. That's really funny, actually. You're also going to give me all your money. Just wait till we siege down your capital. Then you'll give us whatever we want. I want to hear you squeal like a pig, boy. Let me hear you squeal like a pig. Come on now, siege it down. Uh, see, I wish that they would like stack artillery because that's the thing is like EU4 AI is really bad at managing stuff like this. Like look at this. They're just running over here and just getting squashed by attrition. Ooh, that'll be nice. Core creation cost. Like how much attrition has my men taken? 67,000 men. 70,000 men have died from attrition for like kind of no reason, honestly. <clears throat> Okay, that's fine with me. Very good. Let's put down some rebels, eh? Oh, we don't really have any. <laughs> okay, so Lithuania, Russia, it's fine. So we can re-rival the Ottomans. So we can declare on you and we'll do a reconquest. Papal State will help again. Pope man, what are you doing, man? Why are you are you trying to kill yourself, man? Alright, so let's get our siege guys over here. What are you? You are our two siege and you are our three siege. <clears throat> Very good. Um free diplo, I will always take. We won the siege of Milan! Russia's up to like 24k, I think I just saw. Yes, very good. Keep them coming, buddy. Keep them coming. Alright, so you are going to return all these cores to Milan. 20 AE for basically all of Lombardy. Beautiful. Um, is Fruilia, can they be released? Not anymore. But I do have a claim on it, so I might as well take it if I can. Not sure. I don't think we'll ever be able to siege down Venice with the uh, naval capabilities that I have personally. It's also core. What? Oh, the papal state, right? <laughs> Pope man, why do you keep coming to coming to? I mean, you're a good ally, I suppose. 
He is a good ally. Cannot take that away from him. But he's also a dumb ally. Augsburgian present or peasants, I should say. Very good. Pope man wants out. Give me all your money. I mean, I'll just go to war with you every couple of years and just take all your money, I suppose. That's kind of the way that you're making it work out. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> okay, so when's this truce up? It is up already. So I will declare on you Castile Mamlux. It's their debt, huh? Um, let's just take this ahead of time, and let's just work on a couple of forts, I suppose. Uh, let's build up these ones over here, let's build another one right there. Build that one there, these two down here. Basically, I just don't want Switzerland to, or Sweden to land troops. And get a couple up here for you. <clears throat> Very good. Uh, let's also switch over to the Gustavian. Looks like we also got... Nope, that's it. Okay. Make that a core. And... Just need to... <coughs> Excuse me, geez. Declare a holy war on you, and we will just take back all of our lands eventually. All right, Pope Man hates me. Yeah, I don't really blame him, actually. Maybe I should introduce the statute of restraint and restraints of appeals or whatever. I suppose I could probably release him as a subject. No. Well, if he would just join the Empire, that would honestly take all of my troubles away. But I don't think that's going to happen. And we're just waiting on them. Meanwhile, I'll let all my subjects come down here and siege down all that. They're going to return all of the lands to my subjects. No, not you. And you, and you, that's what I want. And then any extra, I'm just gonna... Anything else, and I'm just gonna release, or I'm gonna keep for myself. All right. Dennis, you're gonna, you have to surrender soon, man. About a year, probably. Wait to the next tick, probably. The next yearly tick, that is. Sienna entered into a coalition. Uh, I should probably declare on France before he tries to join a coalition as well. Castile. So, Burgundy. Hmm... He's gonna join it, so I should. Pro I have to declare this now. Let's go for. Um, is there one that with a fort that I could claim? Uh, Picardy. No, we don't have a claim on that. Boss Poito. Yeah. <clears throat> Guess it doesn't matter a whole lot then. So let's just get a good leader over here. And just start working on sieging him down. Venice will peace out eventually. I mean, I'm not concerned at all with this. Burgundy's got a tiny army. France has a decent army, but I'm not. I'm not really worried about them. Let's just join these guys up over here. Eventually, Venice will surrender. I'm sure of it. Okay. <clears throat> and he can siege down my my uh, subjects all they all he wants. I mean, it's they'll defend each other's land, so it's it's honestly not a big deal at all. Um, okay, so you will give me 
Oh, oh, hit the wrong button. That's annoying. <laughs> Mercenary maintenance will save me some money. All right, let's take that. Very good. So that's all of his land. And then let's get over here, let's start sieging this down. And we will take that tech. Sure. We won the Siege of Paris. And I suppose we might as well just come up here and wipe out these armies, right? Makes sense. <clears throat> and yeah, eventually we'll just... Looks like he's at war with Aragon right now. Won the Siege of Avignon. Um, let's actually get up here to this one. Siege of Picardy. Ottomans are, you know. We're just doing our thing over here again. I really need to just take this land here because... Oh, Alright, so I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm just going to get a man over here because we need to take the straits because the Bosphorus straits are so annoying in this game. Alright. Um... Looks like we're going to take Dijon A actually now, which is really good. Because we'll be able to just separate piece out Burgundy. Uh, we can actually have them. Annul treaties with Great Britain. Annul treaties with France. And give me all your money. And then we'll just siege them down. Actually... Let's uh, kill this stack right here. All right, get you guys over there. Okay, very good. Oh, didn't realize that I was fighting a stack over there. So let's get you guys down here. Lithuanian separatists. That's fine. All right, so <clears throat> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm gonna probably give some of your land to my subjects. Is Lorena subject? They are. So I'm gonna give this one to Orlean, if I can find it, or Champagne actually, and then give these one, this one here to uh, Lorraine. And I will also probably give this one to Lorraine. Where are they at? Did I pass them? I did. Okay, so we'll give these ones away to you. And then I will get, I will take these ones. This is what I need from this war. And then I can core that up and I can release him. Um, maybe I should take this as well. Mm. Adds a bit of aggressive expansion. Well, let's just siege him down. Come on now. Come on, Otto man. I don't think he has enough men to like... Oh, jeez. Yes, he does. I actually need to be careful with this stack. I didn't realize how many men he had in the field. He's got... A decent amount of war exhaustion already. Um, um, it's fine. I don't really care about a little bit of autonomy in one one province. Um, if we could get nobility, loyal. That's honestly ideal. Um, let's take some money from you, and then let's build build up some more. Infrastructure. Well, not, you know what I mean. Stuff in our subjects to keep them nice and strong. Empire, Empire strong. Um, France is going to give me what I want in my peace deal now. Very good. I will core up all that. Avignon will have to wait, I suppose. Um... Get you guys over here and get you guys over there. 
and we're just waiting on the Siege of Sinop. Very good. Let's come over here and take Ankara, and then we can eventually take all that as well. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe here? Wait a minute. So if I take this... Okay, so I can take all that. Good, good, good. Yeah, this is the peace deal. Because I need these straits. I need at least one of them, actually. Let's do that. Because I don't feel like 100%ing him. Okay, so let's come over here. Leave you guys here in Avignon. And after I core this up, I'll be able to add this to the Empire, and then I'll be able to add this, release him, and reconquest his lands. Which will be... October of 45. So quite a while. Break that wall. So let's see here. I'm pretty sure if I control both sides of the straight, I can cross it. Is this correct? It is. Very good. So now my subject should start flooding over into Anatolia. And they will help me siege it all down. Which is exactly what I want. <clears throat> oh, I got the uh, Papal Controller. Very nice. How many are there, actually? Still a decent amount, but they're pretty much all my subjects. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, it's fine. Don't really care about my subjects' opinions of me because they're gonna be loyal regardless because they're too small and uh, HRE is overpowered. So we are slowly but surely adding to the empire, which is just mm, 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 beautiful. <gasps> is he adding? Oh, he's not adding the land. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I got excited. I thought he was adding the land. Oh, wait, yeah, he's not. Sad times. Okay, whatever. This will also just soar his um, war exhaustion through the roof. So France. De Pornion. Okay, quarantine the province. Let's also just get claim. Say we want every single thing in this dude's land. As well as yours, actually, for that matter. I just need to be careful that I'm not trying to claim what he wants. Okay, that should be good. I won't claim Calais. So it should be good. And my subject should, should get claims against him. We lost the Siege of Karim. I actually don't know where that is, so that's a bummer. Um, more admin points. Heck yeah, boy. Um, interest per annuum. Carpet siege. Carpet siege. And I think the ideal is... Oh, no. Brother. <laughs> he was so young. I mean, it's, it's okay, I suppose, because... He's going to be, like, you know, ideally like a 30-year king, 40-year king, who's got a 646, which is one of the best things you can get in this game. Best kind of monarchs, at least. All right, let's finish up this war with the Ottoman. Just got to finish it up. Just siege him down, siege him down. Break the walls. Getting so many points at this point, I really don't care at all about how much points I'm spending. Uh, Crusade, right. So I need to kill some of them, actually. Alright, so let's actually come up here and see if we can kill some of them. Oh, kill some Tunisians, I suppose. Why not? There's a little nice little accidental stack wipe. Let's see if we can... Come over here and very good. Might be able to stack like that. Very good. Yes. Hey, and we can actually get our peace. All of the land returned to our vassals as well as 
some uh, free lands for free lands for us. So that'll do it for the episode. I think that's a very good place to end it. If you guys are liking the series, please show some support. Leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more of this, you can subscribe. If you ding the little bell icon, it'll send you a notification every time I upload, which is uncontested, the best way to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel. Um, let's add this to the Empire. Add this to the Empire. Add this to the Empire. <laughs> um, add all this. All this. All this. Um, no, 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 no. What's this? Z. Uh, not Provence. But we will release Catalonia, we will release Montferrat, we will release Savoy. And just like that. I wonder how many princes are in the HRE now, does it say? 59. 59, baby. Alright, cool. Well, with all that being said, this is Chew Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.